everybody, I'm Allie. This is Nathan. And we are with PotomacBeads.com. We usually do at the end of each year, and when you just keep looking older and older, I realize looking at the camera, we've been doing a yearly wrap up to see our goals for the previous year, how we did, whether or not we succeeded or didn't succeed. So I think we might have just over 50% this year. We we'll might see. have, it was, it was a rough year. I mean, I, I will say 50% is a win. So considering it's 2020, we'll go with yeah. a win. Okay. All right. No matter Sorry. what, the, no matter what, we're gonna say that it was a win. All right. So one of our, so these were our goals for 2020 and whether or not we accomplished them. So number one, we wanted to add at least one additional subscription box. This was a fail. This was a fail. But we, this is a we're partially way. We're, we're it's either it's a, we in succeed, the process. we fail, or we partially. Accomplish it. You're giving it a partial. I'm giving this a partial because we Do have a lot of things. Comes. We have a lot of things ordered. This is going to start probably in April this coming year. And we're super pumped about it. I am really, really excited about the new series of subscription box that we will and have. And actually, it's going to be add-ons to the existing subscription box. Plus, we're going to have a whole new series of boxes, which are specifically oriented towards beginner beaters. So, super excited about starting that. Uh, 2020 put a little bit of a wrench in that, but we'll get to that a little bit further mm -hmm. as we go down on the list. So, Nathan, number two, move to a new warehouse four times larger. I'd say this was a success. Done! Yeah, so we have successfully moved. We moved during COVID, which mm -hmm. actually made for more fun as well. So, we were successful. Yeah, it was a challenge, but we're here, and uh, we still have lots of space to grow, so we're really excited about that. Very excited. Uh, number three, build two new recording studios with better sound functionality. I'm going to give this one a yes. We actually don't have a second studio right now, but this one is just fine. We don't actually have anyone recording in the second one, so we don't really have a need for it. If and when we get to that point, which we hope to hire in the next year. We have space for it. Yeah, we have we have space to put it. So I'll put this as a thumbs up also. I get to sit in this panic room here with less sound. That's all padded and the green screen behind me. So I'll go for a win on this as well. All right, next one. Number four. Launched out of a calendar. This is a total fail. We failed. We, 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 we ran out of time for this. I think in June we realized we haven't even touched this project left, so it's probably too late. Too late. Too late. We have it on the schedule to talk about it in January. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to put this when you see our 2021 outlook. It's going on. We're going to get this done. It was Teresa's idea, and she up and had a baby. I don't baby. think we missed anything three years in a row, just two years. Just two years. So Teresa had a baby at our EU warehouse, and uh, she was going to be the forefront runner, and instead uh, she's chasing her, her infant around. So we are going to be reevaluating this and getting onto this next year. All right, number five, constantly add improvements and new filters. I'll give this one a partial. So we got rid of all of our filtering system that we installed last year, and instead we're moving to an entirely new website, and that is in development now. We hope it will be live in about two or three weeks. Yeah, so we're going to give this a halfway, but we've done a lot of the work. So we are completely switching website hosts. It's going to look a little bit different, and we hope to uh, make this happen and have more filters get a lot of impact, and we're uh, excited for this new launch. But this will also take us most of the next year to fix and make really good. Correct. Yeah, and then by that time we'll want a new website again. Hopefully, not. hopefully not. We're not. We're not getting another one. All right. So uh, number six is new products: two to three glass shapes, ten to twelve crystal shapes, ten to twelve metal shapes. You were very specific on this list. Um, and then some metal versions of check shapes as well. So, well, since this was my job, this is 100% accomplished. One, <laughs> yeah, right. 100% accomplished. So we got a lot of new products out there. It was a rough year for dealing with subscribe with um, supplier shutdowns and getting mm -hmm. turnaround, but we still we still did okay. Yeah. So we had two glass shapes, I think, this year. We had probably 20 plus crystals and 15 plus metal shapes. So, yeah, I say we get thumbs up. This is one that I think we did the, the best on. So, other than the recording studio. Thanks. <laughs> All right, number seven, um, a lot of projects on the back end, a WMS, an ERP, and those stand for warehouse management system and enterprise resource planning so it's a software that ties all the different parts of your business together and we are going to give this a partial almost completely done mm -hmm. so i'm going to give it like the that thumbs up we should see how this works in the first quarter of 2021 as we get ready to switch over our web host so so 0.7 
point, point seven, point eight. Check, that's, check plus. Check, check. We'll give this a check. We'll give it a check plus. Hopefully, half, the next, check. half check in the next couple weeks. So continuing on with number nine, we had a lot of people needs here at Potomac Beads. So we had as a growing company the need for some new warehouse staff, some new um, inventory specialists, accountants, picker packers, and also we needed to hire a new COO. Hey everybody. So that is Glenn. Check. <laughs> Check. Uh, that is Glenn that made his guest appearance and came in to work as the COO. So Nathan, do you think we did a good job accomplishing? Yeah, I think we did a good job. Not I mean, only Glenn's, that, but we have Glenn's Mandy. sitting behind us. So, <laughs> yeah. so this is Glenn's job evaluation. We, we hired quite a few people and it's really good to have them doing awesome things here. Yeah, so we're really excited that number nine, I feel like we'll give a thumbs up, um, not only because Glenn is sitting on the floor behind <laughs> us, but that we've also hired and expanded our staff to include some great people. All right, we kicked Glenn out, we made him get back to work, and we are back onto the list. So up to number nine, launch a totally new brand. Uh, this is another total fail. We got so busy with other things. We didn't make it. But we're still hoping that happens this year. It's a, it's a, it's not involved with necessarily the bead industry, but I think a lot of people will find it exciting. So, that's a hopefully fall twenty twenty one. I'll give it a point two. Point <laughs> that might be generous. We yeah, failed. We, we failed. We one. failed. All right, number eleven. Buy a new manufacturing business. This did happen. We bought bead on boards early this year, and we're really excited about that. It's nice having that in-house here where we can produce the products even better, more quickly, and get them out to lots of people. We were able to improve the materials, uh, so we're really excited about that, and we're going to hopefully do more of that in the future. Yeah, we hope to uh, possibly get a couple add-on products there as well. So, uh, Beat On It Boards is still made here within the United States in Hagerstown, Maryland, and we love that we're able to have them produced here in-house mm -hmm. um, and be able to keep up with the demand for yep. people. So. All right, number 12, focus again on findings. I'll give this a partial, but we still failed to do what we really wanted to. But a lot of this is going to be, we already have a lot of these things ordered for next year. Yeah, so due to 2020, we'll be in this one in COVID. I feel like we get to blame at least one, like directly on COVID. Um, this is some coming up some of our other things that we did not accomplish. Um, which include travel as we get yeah. further down. Uh, we have the opportunity to really focus on findings again. And like Nathan said, we have a lot in the works. So we're really excited about that. So I'll give this a partial That's as partial. well. 13, 2019 goals. Stock all colors of Delicas. So we failed on this in 2019. We did. And then we failed on it for the first half of 2020. But over the last half, I think we have added 600 colors since June. We it's also lot. added, in addition to the full range of Delica colors, we also added 15 O Delicas this mm -hmm. year and a bigger grouping of 8 O Delicas. So I'm going to give this a yeah, thumbs up. Did this. We now stock every single color of 11 Delica Delicas, unless it's out of stock. Yeah. Which so, is, and when you have 1,200 colors or whatever it is, happens. inevitably some things are out of stock with the manufacturer. Yeah, so there are definitely colors that have been out of stock for a while. Miyugi is always kind of on uh, the back back end of producing things, and they can't keep up with the demand, which is great. But that makes us yeah. Have and to even before colors. COVID, I think their Duraco galvanization process was like two and a half years behind, or something yeah. really long. So if they're behind, bear with us if we don't have them. It just means we literally can't get them. So I give that one a thumbs up for the Agreed. Delicas. All right, uh, number 14, Oof, looking at this, five-minute beads channel on YouTube, one video per month. Yeah, this is another fail. <laughs> we, we failed on this yeah. one as well. Um, because of, I'm going to blame this on, on COVID as well, and uh, we'll blame it on Henry, Teresa's baby. We can blame something on Henry. Uh, he's super cute, though, so we'd rather have him over the five-minute bead channel. But our goal was to do kind of quick projects, get them in a concise time period and we still have we've done a couple but we hope to get more and this is really just uh, staff and having people and everything to do right it. Uh, I think this will be eventually be done it's just a matter of when 
We might move this on to the 2021 or list or 22. We'll see. We'll see. We, we Let's have a lot, back to we have a lot of more important things on the 2021 list. Than five minute beads, yeah. We'll make it like 10 minute beads. We'll update it so it sounds way cooler, like three and a half minute beads or something like that. All right, number 15. I feel like this should be like a frown face. Travel. China, Vietnam, India, Greece. Yeah, obviously we made this plan in 2019. We, <laughs> we did not make this plan with COVID in mind. So we've been really at home, enjoying our kids, doing distance learning mm -hmm. remotely. And uh, we've learned a, lot, learned a lot about each other as a family in 2020, but we have not gotten to travel, which... This will go back on our 2021 list if and when it's safe to do that. Yeah, so we are itching to travel, to get around to different suppliers, see different techniques and processes of how things are made. That's really what we love. But the nice thing is, without traveling this year, we were really able to put our focus into being here and present at the, at the business, despite sometimes having a learning center here at the store or at the warehouse with everybody's kids doing remote learning on iPads. So. We'll give this a, a total fail. Yeah, <laughs> total. that's the most failed. <laughs> that's the most failed. We didn't get to go anywhere. All right, number 16, produce at least one new kit per month. Uh, this was really good because I think we probably added 30 plus kits this year. Yeah, so we should have had Mandy pop up in the back here behind us. It's kind of been her baby. She's taken on the kits. We did her as a, or had her as a hire this year doing some accounting mm -hmm. things as well as kits. And she's done a great job of making new kits, making sure that things are in stock. And despite the challenges of 2020 with suppliers getting things in stock, making sure things arrive in a timely fashion, things get on boats, things get on planes. She's done a really good job of working around all of those different difficulties when it comes to putting together kits. Yeah, and so. for the future too, we'll have kits well stocked and we'll keep adding more. Yeah, so we're, well. we're, we're excited about having the kits. Also, if you guys ever have any suggestions as far as kits that you wanna see, ideas for different subscription boxes, ideas on everything kind of we've listed here as well as places we should travel, we're gonna start our list. Make sure to comment If you have below. ideas, yeah, just put them in the comment section of what you wanna see on the 2021. Yeah, and we have three days to kind of make that 2021 list. I already have it's, mostly it, done. It's already mostly done, but if you comment, we're happy to add things. All right, number 17, sell at least five products on Amazon. This is another fail, but it's another one where we've gotten almost all the way there. There's a lot of things almost ready to go, and you guys will hear about that when it's ready. Some of the new products that we'll launch uh, will be on Amazon first, and you'll just click the email link and add it to your cart and it should be real easy. Yeah, so we have a lot of almost sort of comments mm -hmm. with a lot of these numbers and this is another one of them that's kind of an almost. I'm gonna blame a lot of these on kind of that supply chain breakdown and just so many unexpected things mm, this, this year. This was my fault. So there's some, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of both. All right, number 18. All right, Etsy, increased products to include all Potomac exclusives. Another fail. We, we failed on this one too. We're not doing so great. We hired good people. We were in place now. We couldn't travel and we didn't get things on other marketplaces. That's the synopsis. But this is another one that's in progress and will be completed next year. Yeah, we were able to get the Beat On It boards on our Etsy site because we actually had them in stock. We used to have a really hard time keeping them in stock and mm -hmm. getting them again manufactured. So we've really concentrated on that. And we've also, in addition to the kits, we started doing a lot more of our printed patterns. So those have gone on to Etsy. So mm -hmm. I'll say it's a partial win. Yeah. Partial win. Okay. Number 19, how to bead an all exclusive sky skyscraper uh, content with all the resources in one place to get people learned and started. I'd say this is another partial. Partial. Because a lot of the pages are built out for this, but we don't have it all done. We've chosen to work on the new site first. Uh, since that was going to be a requirement for a lot of these pages to begin with. Yeah, so we've done a lot of the back end for this, how to bead, getting, making sure to give you that step-by-step -step introduction to beading and jewelry making, mm -hmm. as well as touch on things for those of you that are more advanced. And really, we needed to create these pages and continue to create them on our new web host rather than our current one. So this is a partial, and I would say kind of a win, because we are definitely getting there. All right, number 20. 20 we always save for the 
listening to customers because we like to hear what you guys want to hear, what you want to do, what you'd like to see us do. And I think overall we, we do a good job with that. And that's one of the reasons that we've really worked hard on things like increasing kits, um, doing our best to improve the shipping speed, although that's been a disaster the last couple months of the year. But uh, whatever we can do to improve the business, to make your lives better and easier, we like to hear those ideas and respond to them as well as we can. And I'm going to add for that listening to customers, we've also added uh, the Twitch schedule that we're usually live on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's a great way if you're ever watching that you want to interact with us. We have the Facebook Lives, we have Twitch, and it really is an awesome experience for myself as well as I think the viewers that are watching to really interact with us as individuals as well as a company, get a head start on some of the designs that I may be creating, and really give feedback, which we really, really, really appreciate. So I think we did a win on 20. So we, we should have figured out um, what our percentage was, like we'll, a pie graph. We'll put it up at the end when they go through the video, and we'll see what we get. I think it's going to be just around 50%. 50%. We'll we'll that's, that's my guess. What do you think? Uh, out yeah, of 20. Out of 20? 55, 60%? I'm going to guess 25? 60%. So we'll let Kira, who was another great she hire this year, she can assess and put it all the together. The partials count as 2.5 out of 5 points? Uh, yeah, we'll make that we'll make that work. So, Kira, you have some mathematics skills to do as as you're putting together this video and working on the challenges of this. But another thing to really say and wrap up this year, while it has been such a struggle for many in so many different different aspects of life, uh, we really, really have had a great opportunity to hire an amazing staff and have an amazing group of people here to serve this awesome group of crafters and this community that you guys have helped create. So a big shout out to the end of 2020, the end of this list of things and uh, getting forward and looking forward yeah. to 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And we're looking forward to the future years together.